Peace, peace. What up, y'all? It's E Rocks orchestrating the Gravity Movement. Shout out to Bevel. Let's talk about it. So I've heard about the Bevel Blade for about maybe a year and a half prior to even getting one. And I heard about it on um, podcasts, podcasts like Brilliant Idiots and um, the Combat Jack Show. They always talk about this bevel blade, bevel blade. As a person who was using disposable five blade razors, I was just like, yo, I mean, what's the big deal about this bevel blade? I went to the website and started checking it out. Beautiful website, um, very modern, uh, very clean. Um, and just started reading about the bevel blade and I'm like, all right, it sounds good, but do I wanna pay the price that they wanted for this blade? So, you know, I kept hearing about it once again via the podcast and I just kind of started to dismiss it. And then I saw um, Tristan Walker on um, The Breakfast Club and the interview, you know, the interview was, it was a great interview and I learned a lot about him and it just piqued my interest more. Um, it's one of those things where when you know a little bit about the creator of a product, you're more willing to buy into the product. Um, so I took it a little bit more seriously after that. In my mind, it was too expensive to, to buy. The other thing about it is you have to purchase a subscription in order to get it. And I wasn't down for that. That to me, that was like, I don't want to, you know, I don't really care for subscriptions, period. Um, but I didn't want to, you know, create a subscription just to get blades to shave and things of that nature. Christian Walker um, struck a deal with Target to carry his product. And that was just this year, around Father's Day. I'm like, wow, they got it in a, um, Target. You know, I got my Target red card, so I get a little discount on products. And I was just like, well, here's my chance to get it. And if it's not good, then, you know, it's not good. So Father's Day rolls around, and my wife asked me, what I want for Father's Day. So I'm like, you know what? I want the bevel blade. So she asked me, okay, well, how much is this blade? I'm like, hey, yeah. She was like, what? Hey, yeah. She was like, what? $50. So, of course, she was looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, you're going to buy a blade for $50? Or a razor for $50? So she's looking at me crazy. I was like, but I, you know, I heard good things about the product. I did my research on it. And most of the reviews at that time were excellent. So she bought me the blade. After getting the blade, I bought additional blades. And then I bought the priming oil. Maybe a week after Father's Day was the first time I used the blade. Um, and the first thing I noticed was after using it, my skin was not hot. And I was like, wow, this feels really good. Now... Like I said, I was using the five blade, five blade disposable razors, and every time I shaved with them joints, my skin would be on fire after I was done, and like my the whole my skin would be like um, it would burn, and it would be like a, a a reddish color irritation. But I thought you know that's just how it is. That's just the the life of a guy who shaves. But after using the bevel blade. I didn't feel that heat that I normally feel. So that was the first thing I noticed. Well, let me back up a step. Once you get the blade and you unpackage the blade. So I got the blade. Comes in this, this great box. The packaging is, is awesome. It's almost like you almost feel like you're opening up an iPhone or something like that. And in the uh, packaging, this little how-to booklet. Very clean, very sharp design. Excellent design. Um, I'm a graphic designer, so these type of things stand out to me, but excellent. In this book are directions on how to use the blade the best way possible. Um, so the first thing they talk about is the angle. And that was probably the trickiest thing about this blade, the angle of it. So here's the blade. The weight is awesome. 
I, I mean, the weight in this blade, you will be, especially if you're using like disposable blades, when you pick this up, you know you're holding a stainless steel blade. The weight is incredible and most of the weight is in the head. So it makes it easier to shave because you don't have to add as much pressure to your face. The tricky thing with this is finding the correct angle on your face to get a clean shave. Um, and the book shows you how to get the best angle. So that's great. So with that, I go in for my first shave. And the first thing I notice is after the shave, my face did not feel hot. As hot as it usually does when I use the disposable blade. And it was like, wow. The second thing I noticed was my face felt softer. It didn't feel, I guess it was the inflammation that I didn't feel. So that was the cool thing. The, the hard thing about the first shave though was the angle. Trying to find the right angle to cut the hair on my face. If you purchase a bevel blade, you have to give yourself time to figure out the angle, the best angle for your face and the shape of your face. Um, and it takes, a, it takes practice and it takes a little time. It's not something that you're just going to get the first time around. I would suggest shaving very slow, much slower than you're used to shaving. Um, and you will see a better result in shaving slow and in catching the right angle on your face. Um, the, the book also recommends that you shave once every two, one or two days, which I wasn't used to doing. Um, I would shave a f every few, day few days with a disposable razor and in shaving every one or two days, I noticed one, it took me less time to shave because there was less hair on my face and two, the shaves became much cleaner and it was like, wow. So take your time with the blade. Um, finding the angles are very important and Taking your time getting smooth strokes on your face is very important. Um, you'll, you'll see the difference. I know with the, with the disposable blades, a lot of times when I shave, I would just kind of be raking over my face. And that raking motion is partially what causes the irritation. The reason why I bought the priming oil was because I wanted to get a closer shave without nicking my skin. You don't nick too much as long as you take your time, but if you move fast, you'll probably nick your skin a little bit more. And if you go over the same area multiple times, you'll probably nick your skin. Uh, so the priming oil is something that I would use if I didn't shave right after getting out of the shower. And it kind of adds um, moisture to your skin and it stimulates the hair on your face to make it easier to shave and it also kind of creates this barrier that that prevents nicking and even sometimes straight out the shower I use the priming oil just because it makes my skin feel great after I've shaved I love the weight of the razor um, the design of the razor it's very it's very heavy and that's good when you're shaving because you don't have to apply a lot of pressure to your face you can just let the blade do the work um, stainless steel so this is gonna last this is not going anywhere um, the blades are very sharp um, they come in packs of 20 that lasts that lasts fairly fairly a good decent amount of time um, the priming oil is great makes your skin feel good before and after shaving so with that said I give uh, the bevel blade an A. I definitely would recommend it to anyone. Um, I would just say in purchasing it, take your time getting used to the blade. Um, take your time shaving and shave maybe every two days. And I, I, I would, I had results doing that. Um, I can't guarantee anybody results for them because I don't know your situation. However, for me, I, I had instant results, maybe in about a week, not instant, but maybe in about a week. The instant thing that I did feel is less irritation from the start. 
So that was great. I like to use Aveeno Therapeutic Shaving Gel. Has a great lather. You don't have to use much of it. You put a little bit in your hand and as soon as you start to rub it on your face, I mean it foams up. Like it really foams up like crazy. I also like to use the Skin Tight Cocoa Butter Moisturizer which um, is good for your skin after you shave. Because one of the issues that occurs is your skin dries out and you need to keep your skin moisturized in order to prevent razor bumps as well. I think a lot of people, they put alcohol on their face um, to maybe clean their face and get the bacteria off their face. However, it also really, really dries out your face. I try to stay away from putting alcohol on my face because it dries it out really bad. And dry skin and razor bumps is not attractive at all. Moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Frequent shaves and taking your time while you shave with a good shaving cream changes, changes the game. But the bevel, the bevel blade plays a, a huge part in my, my system. Um, so yeah, I give, I give bevel a A and would recommend it to anyone. Some of the cons of the product. Hmm. I don't have many cons. I really don't. The only con that I would say is the product is not in my target anymore and I can't go there to buy what I need. Um, like I said, I'm not sure if I can still get it on uh, Target.com, um, but I'm going to check into that. So the only, I, I don't like the subscription based um, situation that they have. That I don't care for. But other than that, the blade is great. Um, I just shaved maybe about 25 minutes ago. You know, you haven't seen before pictures, so it's hard to really tell you how, show you how great the product has been to me. But like I said, prior to using this blade, my skin was really, really dark. I mean, it's, it still has a little darkness to it, but it's much better than what it was. Your uh, significant other probably won't like those razor bumps. Can't be at work trying to present stuff with razor bumps all over your face. You can't be on camera with razor bumps all over your face. So with that said, you need something reliable that's going to help you prevent razor bumps. And Bevel is definitely that. So shout out to Tristan Walker for a great product. Shout out to the Brilliant Idiots, Combat Jack, uh, Breakfast Club for pumping the product. Um, because without that, I probably wouldn't have bought it. Marketing is real, marketing works, and depending on who your target audience is and how you convey messages to your target audience, you can get someone to buy your product. So once again, this is E-Rocks Orchestrated the Gravity Movement. Shout out to Bevel. Um, and if you guys are interested in more information about it, hit me up, hit me in those comments, and I will respond. Um, this video is a little different than my normal videos. Usually it's really based on um, music and creativity. However, I'm just a regular guy uh, who shaves. And I know there's a lot of guys like me who are looking for a product that will help them eliminate razor bumps. So just want to share my, my story, share my, my journey, and hope that it benefits you too. All right? So until next time... I'm out. Peace.